let's take a look at some examples of accessories vendors popping up at vendor events and these vendors are mostly doing jewelry but you'll see a mixture of a couple of things so this first booth is probably my favorite from this whole list and she was actually popping up at a flower festival so you'll notice a lots of floral decor mixed in with her balloons and balloon arch I'm obsessed. And then as we zoom in here, we can see all of her beautiful jewelry displays. She's got a variety of products and she's displaying them in a variety of ways. So it really adds a lot of interest to her booth. It's not just the same display case over and over again. She's got a good variety. She's got some shelving units. She even, as you saw, had a mirror. Now this next vendor, her booth was a little bit more simple, but you can see that she was such a popular vendor. Look how many people are trying to check out her jewelry. So sometimes less is more. Um, you can see that she's doing great and she only had a tablecloth and the, and the jewelry on top. This next booth, we can see kind of a different color palette than we we're seeing from the last two. She actually was selling clothing and jewelry. And as you can see here, she has a nice little mirror so people can kind of like try things on and see how they look on themselves. And I love that floral bouquet arrangement right there. You really want to find ways to make your booth stand out so people are drawn to come check you out. Now this next vendor, you can see that she's actually selling eyewear. Um, I wanted to include this in here just in case any of you sell sunglasses or any type of eyewear. Um, and this was actually a holiday pop-up, so you can see some Christmas trees um, in the background as well. But I love that setup as well. Now this next vendor, she, I just love her color palette. So she's selling clothing and jewelry, as you can see, number of accessories. I love that pop of blue in the back and I love that you can see all of her jewelry. I think those are mostly earrings right there. So pretty. Okay, this next setup is actually my clothing. Um, booth. So I'm primarily a clothing boutique. I mostly sell clothing. But this past pop-up that I did, I decided to start selling accessories for my very first time. So you can see just looking at my booth, I mostly have, I actually have five clothing racks here. So I don't have a lot of room for like a big table. But what I did instead is I found these um, stackable wooden display tables and I am obsessed with them. So I was able to put all of my jewelry on there. I also put my business cards on there, which was great because people were able to walk by and quickly grab one and it had a QR code with all my social media and stuff. And um, it was the perfect setup for me. So it came with three stackable rows, but I actually only use two because I'm just starting out. I only have a couple of um, accessories that I'm offering. So this worked out perfectly for me. And you can see how you can see all of the accessories displayed nicely. And now let me show you just how easy it is to break it down. So here I am at the end of the day, I'm breaking everything down. And what's great about this is that they very easily come apart, which for me is a big deal because one of my biggest goals with all my vendor events is that it's easy to transport all of the things that I'm bringing. Because a lot of the time I am in a hurry, I'm rushed, and I want to get the heck out of there. So look, they just come apart and then they stack on top of each other. So it's, it just makes it so much easier to transport. I'm always like filling my car up as up to the rim, like I up to the ceiling, I mean. Here I want to show you how I carry... I think this is a genius hack that I just came up with. So this is a gift wrap station type of thing, but I'm using it to store my pop-up supplies. So it was super great that the pop-up, um, the tables, the display tables all full fit in there and they stack on top of each other. You can see I have my clothing racks in there as well. So the fact that this display unit folded up, folded up nicely was, game changer for me. All right, now let's get back to some of the other booths. I do have a couple more to share with you. So this is another one that sells clothing and accessories. And you can see she sells headbands. Um, she's got some mannequins with some clothing products on it. Um, let's see. So she's got a wide variety of products. She's got everything from hats 
to sunglasses to shoes I think that's so great because you kind of offer something for everyone maybe people don't love the style of your clothing but you have accessories that they can check out or maybe they don't love your headbands, but they do love your sunglasses. Oh, and then look, she actually has like a magazine or a catalog or something with some earrings displayed on it. And I think that's such a fun touch. It's like adding a little bit more interest to her table and it's kind of unique. All right, so this next one, um, another beautiful display. She's got um, a, a wide variety of ways to display her products. Here we have another relatively simple setup. So lots and lots of jewelry. Um, but in terms of the decor, it's pretty minimal, which can actually be really nice um, and kind of leave the emphasis on the accessories themselves. So it's kind of like up to you to figure out what makes sense for your brand. Um, she had a price list there that you saw, which was great because you could um, see all the prices listed and you wouldn't have to wait for her to tell you how much something cost. And then a big, big sign with a QR code on it. Next, we have a vendor who sells, once again, a good variety of products. So you can see she has things like candles and different home goods. She's got those beautiful clocks in the back. So pretty. But then, as we move to the left, she's got lots of accessories as well. And a very be beautiful setup. I love the colors, the pops of colors. Like, the black looks great as a contrast color. Now here's another vendor who was, she was actually super sweet. She homemade, she makes all of her products by hand. And I love that she has all of them displayed like kind of at an angle or like stacked on shelves. Um, it allows her to fit a lot of products in a small space by utilizing, you know, um, vertical space. Here's another booth, love the setup. I love the white, pink, kind of neutral tone color palette. That's kind of what I go for a lot with my clothing store as well. Um, but she has a wide variety of ways to display it, super pretty. Here's one that has more of a pop of color that I actually just love. I love the triangle shaped pyramid shelving, bright pink unit, that's so fun. Um, really stands out. Here's another vendor that had this beautiful sign. I was obsessed with the sign. It's right in front and center so everyone can know where to find her on social media, how to look her up by seeing her um, store's name. And then again, she has a, a good selection of jewelry to choose from and lots of different ways to display them. And this is our last one. So yeah, I would just say, you know, what my recommendation would be is to Think about what makes sense for your brand. Are you more minimalist or do you like to go all out, use pops of color and all sorts of fun decor? It really just depends on your branding. So you should have fun kind of figuring out what makes sense for your brand. Now with that, um, I also recommend that you have a variety of products. So just in case someone doesn't love, you know, your necklaces or maybe they don't really wear jewelry, maybe you offer something else for them that they do love that isn't necessarily jewelry. That's up, for you. That's up to you to think about. Um, but with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you're looking for a list of wholesale vendors, I actually have one that you can download for free at letsbuildaboutique.com if, if you are interested in finding um, accessories at wholesale. Got lots of great brands for you to check out. And then lastly, I'm thinking about creating a pop-up course. If you're interested in learning more about how to set up and have a successful pop-up event, you'll want to check out the letsbuildedboutique.com site so you can get on the waiting list to join that pop-up course when it's ready. But with that, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.